Black Lives Matter. I believe that, and most people do. The issue that we have is with the organization Black Lives Matter. And by the end of this video, I think you'll have a pretty good understanding of why. This isn't about what I think. This is about their own words from their own website. Under a section called Defund the Police, they claim this. George Floyd's violent death was a breaking point and an all too familiar reminder that for black people, law enforcement doesn't protect or save our lives. They often threaten and take them. That's crazy. They think that the police are more likely to endanger black lives than to protect them. Who do they think arrested the some 8,000 murder suspects in the black community? I'll give you a hint. It wasn't the fire department. They also say they want to end white supremacy forever. So how do they propose you help with this? As a woke white person. They say to donate. Fund the movement. Michael Jordan donated. Check out this donation for a hundred million dollars. When someone asks for your money, you want to know where is it going? This is where it gets interesting. I want you to pay attention to this right here. Notice how it says Act Blue? What is Act Blue? And what do they do? Well, they're actually a funding campaign for Democratic candidates. And they funded Bernie Sanders' campaign, Joe Biden's campaign, Elizabeth Warren's campaign, and Pete Buttigieg's campaign. They've donated over a billion dollars to Democratic candidates. Yet, oddly, not a single one in the top ten was a person of color. So you're telling me I'm donating to Black Lives Matter and the money's going to white Democrats? That's exactly what I'm telling you. It's not unusual for an organization as corrupt as this one to be disingenuous. Sean King, a notorious activist, had this to say. Stop generically telling us to vote in response to all of the police brutality we have right now. Yes, we should vote, but we have to be very specific. Democrats from top to bottom are running the cities with the worst police brutality in America right now. We voted for them. Wait, so you're telling me you voted for Democrats from top to bottom and they're not helping, yet you're still giving them a billion dollars? Seems legit. I guess even a broken clock is right twice a day. So let's get back to the defund the police. They want to defund the police and reinvest the money into African-American communities because that's going to help black people, right? Okay, we'll go with that. So why aren't they donating any of the money they've received to reinvest in black communities? I guess they're too busy donating to the campaigns of white Democrats. What could possibly happen when you defund the police? Well, for starters, citizens could take the law into their own hands. And what happens when citizens take the law into their own hands? Well, you get this. Yes, a mod Arbery situation where citizens took the law into their own hands. So what has Black Lives Matter accomplished? In the last 14 days, they've successfully launched riots in cities all across America and encouraged violence against the police. They've donated almost a billion dollars to Democrats, including Joe Biden, the author of the 1994 crime bill to which so many major issues plaguing the black community can be traced. So yes, they claim they care about black lives, yet they willfully give billions of dollars to the Democrat Party, the party of Jim Crow, the party of slavery, the party of segregation, the party of Planned Parenthood that has systematically destroyed more black lives than police brutality could in 460,000 years. So excuse me if I don't get behind a movement that's founded on hate built on lies and accepts donations and misappropriates them. My name is Joel Patrick, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm a legendary black redneck. I 
I got some Wranglers too. Might have some came round on my radio, cruising the good as you. Now won't you do me a favor? Just to ride on my tractor You can say what you want I don't give a 